Hi everyone. There's a new hero coming soon in the Brazil server on 27th of October. His name is Sima Yi. He is an assassin, mostly played as a jungler. If you're familiar with Arena of Valor, he has very similar skill set of pain. Sima Yi is one of the deadly assassin of this game, and he is capable of dealing burst damage to enemy backline targets. Now let's talk about his passive skill. Sima Yi's passive is called Quiet Whispers. When an enemy hero uses a skill within 2000 range of Sima Yi, he gains vision of them and recovers 5 energy. Sima Yi has a base energy cap of 80, increasing by 3 per level up. He also gains 10 extra energy per kill or assist, up to a max of 200 total energy. Killing monsters and heroes grants him 10 energy as well. When Sima Yi casts a skill, he activates Shadow Fang for 4 seconds. This grants him 30 movement speed and transforms his basic attacks into Scythe Strikes, dealing 250 plus 40% magic attack damage. On the first basic attack after activating Shadow Fang, Sima Yi blinks behind the target, dealing an additional 400 plus 65% magic damage. This passive rewards Sima Yi for carefully monitoring enemy movements and abilities. He can recover energy and find opportunities to gank targets. Sima Yi's first skill is called Shadow Stings. It costs 40 energy and has a 9 second cooldown. When cast, Sima Yi becomes immune to crowd control effects and summons a controllable Shadow Spirit for 2 seconds. The spirit deals 100 plus 20% magic attack damage to enemies it passes through. It deals double damage to minions and monsters. When Sima Yi basic attacks or when the spirit duration ends, he will blink to its location. This deals 100 plus 20% magic damage and slows enemies in the path by 50% for one second. Shadow Stings allows Sima Yi to scout ahead safely with his Shadow Spirit while dealing damage. He can then blink to an ideal position to ambush enemies when needed. It's great for mobility, vision, and setting up plays. Sima Yi's second skill is called Baron Lance. It costs 40 energy with a 6 second cooldown. When used, Sima Yi releases a pulse of energy around himself dealing 300 plus 30% magic attack as AOE magic damage. Enemies hit are also silenced for one second. If Sima Yi remains inside the skills area after two seconds, he regains 25 energy. The passive effect converts 50% of magic damage taken into health over two seconds. Baron Lands is great for wave clear and trading in lane. It damages and silences enemies around Sima Yi while refunding energy if he stays in range. The magic damage conversion also makes him sustainable against mages. Sima Yi's ultimate is called Death Descends. It costs 40 energy with a 35 second cooldown. When used, Sima Yi first steps back and charges up for a brief moment. He then quickly dashes to the target area. At the destination, Sima Yi deals 700 plus 100% magic attack damage in an AoE. Enemies along the path take 50% damage instead. Death Descends allows Sima Yi to charge up and then swiftly dash into the back lines or clustered enemies. The damage is split between the path and destination, so he punishes both grouped up and spaced out opponents. It's great for ambushing low health targets or surprising backline of enemies with the AoE Magical Burst. To play Sima Yi effectively, you want to be involved in fights constantly to keep gaining energy from takedowns. Using his skills as much as possible will let you reach max energy faster. When using his ultimate, predict enemy movements and cast it ahead of time due to the delay before he dashes. In teamfights, Sima Yi can easily reach the backlines with his mobility, but lacks tankiness to initiate fights. It's best to wait for the main tank to engage first before flanking the damaged backline enemies. With proper energy management through constant participation and smart target selection, Sima Yi can effectively assassinate low health opponents and turn team fights in your favor. And that's the new hero Sima Yi. So what do you think about this hero? Do you think he will dominate in Brazil's server? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And that's it for today's video. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to. And as always, thank you for watching.